days and had six million and so our page went from about four thousand followers to fifty thousand followers it was a viral sensation so it seemed like from that moment anything controversial that i would get involved in god would honor it don't leave if you need prayer come on over either row c row d right up here if you need prayer please don't leave the theater until you receive prayer there's tons of us in here that are experienced with deliverance experienced with praying and we are happy and blessed to pray for you don't leave without prayer Your best yep. friend since yeah, school. so we <laughs> finally we're done done with okay. watching a movie tonight. Come out in Jesus' name, it was awesome. Mm -hmm. um, we finally got to see it. We all like most of us that were here were went to the one in March 13th in Majestic, and we weren't able to see it because the projector broke, <laughs> um, right? Which is just just the devil. Um, he thought he would win, and we decided to stay and worship for 30 minutes. So tonight we actually got to see the movie. It was awesome. Mm -hmm. And then we got to stand up afterwards and ask if anybody needed uh, prayer for deliverance. And so we just want to share just some quick testimony about that. Um, so I know there was like one, two, three, three gals up here that got prayer for. There was a, a gentleman that I prayed for, and there was another gentleman. I think there was three, four, six, five, seven. six, seven people that got, mm. eight people that got some deliverance. And show them the the theater right. too because there's not that many there's not that many seats there was quite a few people yeah. who needed it <laughs> yeah so if you look it's a, small theater. it's a pretty small theater and it was just like holy spirit was moving i came in the door and i anointed the door with oil thanks to my my awesome friend heather who remembered to bring her oil um and uh we anointed the door with oil we came anticipating knowing that um holy spirit was gonna was gonna move in power and he did mm -hmm. yeah yeah, I just, yeah, God had his way tonight. I was really, really happy. <laughs> yeah. There was people who, uh, w there was a, a woman we talked to, um, and, you know, we, we all exchanged our, our numbers and everything, but uh, she was telling us that she'd been looking for, for someone to help with deliverance for months, and then there was another woman, the same thing. So uh, if, if that's you, if, if you're somebody who, you're like, I don't know if I'm called to be doing this, you are. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, you are called. Um, it's the ministry of Jesus. Yeah, ob obviously you should you should learn and, and get equipped. But uh, yeah, it's the ministry of Jesus, and there's people who are really hungry who need it everywhere. Yeah. Yeah, Seven awesome. out of I don't know how many how many seats is that? It's not. It's, it's, it's not pretty many. big. It's pretty pretty big fraction of it, and not all of them were filled. So it's maybe like thirty. There's yeah. maybe thirty people. Other yeah. people, thirty, forty, seven out of forty. That's. Pretty good it was odds good. that, it was that good. you need help. <laughs> yeah. And it's not a bad thing, like just so you know, like demons don't always come in because of sin. Sometimes it's generational curses, sometimes it's trauma, and it's things that have been done to you. And there's absolutely no shame. There's no shame in, in, in following what the, the ministry of Christ is, which is he came to set captives free. So right on. Thanks guys. <laughs> yeah.